Hey there, friends. Hi, how's it going? Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're well. So it's actually been a second since I've filmed a video. I know that videos have been coming out, but it's actually been a few days. I just got back from Electric Daisy Carnival Orlando and I, uh, I feel like trash, but we're going to power through you and I together here today. What are we talking about? What's the agenda? Oh, it's just this agenda you've never heard of when it comes to fragrances. Complimentation without representation, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about getting those compliments. So, you know, what are some of the best designer fragrances I can buy if I don't care about anything except for smelling like a guy who's wanting some attention from, from literally anybody screaming for attention. Come on, my parents didn't love me. That's a different story. Uh, yeah, compliment getting fragrances, 12 of the best ones you can buy, just like top notch, just mm, jump into it. All right, now I set up some restrictions here. One fragrance per house. That way, you know, we're not loaded down with like a whole crap ton of Dior's and Chanel's and everything like that. So keeping it to one per house and also give a couple shout outs to other fragrances as we pop through this. Now I am biased with this fragrance, so it does not count. But if you're looking for compliments, my fragrance. Yeah, that's right, mine. Blue Ridge. Now this is a fragrance that I released with Michael Malol, I did the brief, I did the creative direction on it, I worked with the perfumer on it. Blue Ridge right here, this is a blue fragrance, very fresh, very clean, airy, with just the right amount of sweetness. Man, massive compliment puller. Of course, this came out not very long ago. I have a video on that in case you want to check it out about my whole new line. But maybe you want something not quite as obviously blue. You want something with a little bit more depth, but you still want that versatility and compliment factor. Terra Nova, the other new one that I released. This one done by the same perfumer that did Parfums de Marley, Layton, and like a million other Parfums de Marley's. This one is maybe slightly more grown up than Blue Ridge also absolutely awesome like these two fragrances legitimately i went into it just thinking versatility compliment factor mass appeal that's what i'm going for with these but approaching it in two different ways so links in the description for those if you do buy them use the code gent sense that's g-e-n-t-s-c-e-n-t-s Yes, it is missing an S. It's not gents since it's gent since. But use that code, save yourself 20%, don't pay full retail. All right, we're gonna kick it off with YSL Yves Saint Laurent. Now, this one, a little tricky. Like I said, I'm gonna do just one per house. So the one I'm gonna feature here, the one I'm gonna just talk about very quickly is L'Homme Le Parfum. But you know, if we're being real, why eau de parfum? It's, it's probably it, isn't it? So L'Homme Le Parfum, this smells a bit like, oh yeah, it smells a bit like why eau de parfum. Yeah, mixed with uh, L'Homme, the eau de toilette from the same house. This is obviously from a line a lot of people know. It's from a house everybody knows. Yes, that's true. But L'Homme Le Parfum uh, sold in much smaller numbers than why eau de parfum, but it's gonna give you just as much of that compliment factor and that versatility. So absolutely do check Loam, the parfum out, good amount of sweetness, nice freshness off the top, great wearability. All right, now this next one, you can argue with me about this, okay? You can say, oh, I hate it, it smells like this, it's cheap, it's that, it's whatever. But fact of the matter is, stuff works, it pulls compliments, it has great performance, it's cheap, one of the best selling things out there. Yeah, Club de Nuit Intense Man from Armoff. This is obviously a clone of Creed's Aventus, and the opening of it can be harsh. It can be chemically, it can be off-putting. Yeah, that's true. But as it dries down, and especially in the air, like as you're moving around and people catch wafts of it, it smells really good, I gotta say. And I'm not the biggest defender of Club de Nuit since man. I actually really don't like the opening of the original version. I think it smells crappy. Uh, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the other clone fragrances, popular clones of Aventus, but I cannot deny how this is in the air. Now, I do want to tell you guys, this comes up all the time. I did do a buying guide of Club de Nuit, uh, the whole line. So you can search that up, Club de Nuit buying guide. But the best version of Club de Nuit Intense Man is the limited edition. People will get confused. They'll say, is Club de Nuit Intense Man Parfum the same thing as the limited edition? No, the limited edition says limited edition on the bottle, it says limited edition on the box. It's a different box. It's got like a little ribbon on it and it's got kind of a gray color to the bottle instead of black. So the only 
limited edition is that one. The Parfum is something different. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Sauvage, Dior Sauvage, Eau de Toilette, enough said. All right, next one. I'm just playing, I'll talk about it for half a second. Uh, Dior Sauvage, we all know it. We all love it, right? No? <laughs> it's got a lot of haters, got a lot of haters. I mean, it's got that Ambroxan going, it's got a metallic opening, bergamot, pepper, great performance awesome projection and longevity on that one. Eau de Toilette is the one I'm featuring here today, the most affordable of the bunch, if you don't include very cool spray. And uh, Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette, it's just one of those scents, it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. Everybody's wearing it, you know, you smell it all the time, but that's because it is just perfect at pulling attention and compliments. I will never take that away from it. After that, Stronger With You Intensely from Emporio Armani. Uh, also Stronger With You, absolutely. That one, very good at pulling compliments. Stronger With You Oud, Stronger With You Leather. The original Stronger With You, actually just about the whole lineup, I'd say. Intensely is gonna be the strongest of the bunch. It's maybe a little more youthful than absolutely is. Not quite as refined, but a little louder. Whole Stronger With You line though, great at pulling compliments, this gourmand feel that it has this warmth and sweetness, really good stuff. And I guess also quickly, before I forget, I was gonna give some shout outs to other fragrances from these houses. Uh, Dior Homme 2020, that one's nice at pulling compliments, not as good as Sauvage. And then Armani, what can you say? Aqua de Jo line, uh, the Code line. Yeah, technically that's Emporio Armani, not Giorgio Armani, but still. Keep it moving. Uh, with Chanel, Alorum Sport O Extreme. You could also go Bleu de Chanel, and I would not argue that. Bleu de Chanel, uh, wonderful compliment puller, big time blue fragrance, very classy. Alorum Sport, maybe just edges it out ever so slightly. Creamy citrus in the opening, super appealing, and a good amount of tonka as it dries down. And people love Tonka. Nice year round usability. For me personally, I would go Alorum Sport Oak Stream over the original Alorum Sport. I think that one, a little bit more interesting, a little more punch to it, a little more push, a little bit more modern as well. A lot of little bits adding up to a lot bit. Versace next. Now you would think Eros, right? And uh, that's the obvious choice but I didn't want to feature Eros. So Dylan Blue. So Eros is the obvious one, but Dylan Blue just as good at pulling compliments. Dylan Blue sometimes gets overlooked uh, for some of the heavier hitter blue fragrances, you know, the Sauvages, the Bleu de Chanel's, the Wise of the world. But Dylan Blue can compete with those if all you're talking about is compliments from other people. Because Dylan Blue has the same general aesthetic, the same style. Does it have an attention grabbing opening? Yes, citrus and ginger, let's go. <laughs> Never seen that before. Does it have some nice masculine depth to it? Some modern feel as it dries down? Also, yes, and Brox and incense, it's got it. And also from a house people know in a presentation, that's eye catching. Now this next one is a big fragrance line, a big house, and I hate the fragrance. I hate it. I have a visceral reaction when I smell it in my stomach, like my stomach tenses up and I just, ah, I really can't stand it. H24, Hermes. Now this is the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Parfum of H24 I think is a lot better. Yes, it's the same general fragrance. It's just, I think the Eau de Parfum improves the things that I really dislike about the Eau de Toilette and turns it into a fragrance that I don't mind wearing. So I guess maybe I should have put the Eau de Parfum in here, but from everything I've heard from a lot of you guys and other people, the Eau de Toilette uh, does fantastic at pulling compliments. Now, why do I dislike it? Well, the opening I actually think is not too bad. The opening I dig, green and a little sweet, fresh, and that overdose of sclarine hasn't really kicked in too much in the opening, but as it starts to dry down and those green facets fade away and the narcissus kind of fades away, oh, it smells tinny, like metallic, thin, like it's missing everything, and just something about it like hits my nose in a way that I really don't enjoy. But H24, apparently a lot of you guys out there just crushing it with this stuff. After that legend, Eau de Parfum, Mont Blanc, uh, a little bit similar, of course, to Abercrombie Fitch Fierce. And what can you say? Fierce, I mean, one of the most complimented fragrances ever. As if that's a thing that they can put up on a 
on a billboard or on a poster, like you walk into a fragrance store, walk into an Abercrombie. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, one of the most complimented fragrances ever. Somebody would be like, is is that true? How do, you, how do you, how do you figure that out? But we know, we know, we know. Yeah, Fierce, it works well. I mean, I've known that since it came out. Anybody who's been around it has known that, okay? <laughs> And yes, maybe to you, dear viewer, uh, Fierce is played out. And uh, I wouldn't argue that. It's had a good run and it's still running. A Legend by Mont Blanc, the original Eau de Toilette, obviously a take on Fierce. And it does uh, the same things that Fierce does well, very well, uh, just more affordable. Really nice masculine scent, great lavender profile to it. And then uh, Legend Eau de Parfum, just a little more grown up. Yeah, ever so slightly more rich, works so well great versatility with legend eau de parfum and uh still still crushing it today that scent profile as far as attracting attention goes four more to go lightning round let's go ralph lauren ralph's club this is the original ralph's club the new version also very very good at pulling attention same perfumer that did Y eau de parfum and it's in a similar style you know same family a modern man's blue fragrance the type of scent that you could own as your only fragrance and it would work any season daytime nighttime office date whatever it'll do it personally i think rouse club is actually very good this got a lot of flack when it came out a lot of people said that it sucked that it was boring derivative all those things. But in wearing this, it made me happy, gave me confidence. Other people liked it. I got compliments, got attention. And <laughs> what more can you want with a type of scent like this? After that, Azaro is the most wanted. This is the Eau de Parfum Intense. The new version of this also works very well. Uh, wanted by Night, very good for compliments also. This is a fragrance that follows in the footsteps of the Stronger With You line. So what I said about the Stronger With You line being this warm, gourmandy, sweet type of scent profile that people were just really clamoring for, that's what this is as well. This one's not quite as aggressively in your face as Stronger With You Intensely. It's a little bit more reined in. So I think uh, for some people could have a little more versatility with this as compared to the Armani. And I'm kind of proud of this line. I got to say, when Azaro's Wanted came out, people wrote it off uh, really quickly. Said that it was boring, crappy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that it would basically go nowhere. And then you had Wanted by Night come out and people kind of stood up and went, eh, hey, not too bad. And it's going strong. And these new releases are really good. So I'm proud. I'm proud of you, Zara. Then we'll talk about Spice Bomb, Night Vision, Eau de Parfum, Victor and Rolf. I would not go with Night Vision Eau de Toilette. Yes, it is a compliment puller. So in uh, that sense, it would make sense to have Night Vision Eau de Toilette in this list, but I think the Eau de Parfum is better and uh, more interesting, higher quality overall. Got really good performance, good longevity, good projection, so people are gonna be able to pick it up and they really lean into the whole green aspect of the fragrance, the Night Vision aspect. It's got green apple, green cardamom, green nuts. Yeah, pistachios, which I actually really like that uh, they definitely had some brainstorming and they were like, okay, green, green things, green things. Oh, what's green? Pistachios. I like, I like to eat pistachios. It did turn out really well though. Night Vision Eau de Parfum basically took the Eau de Toilette, which a lot of people bagged on and said was a, a poor release and improved basically everything. So whereas Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Toilette was essentially Victor and Rolf's take on Paco Rabanne Invictus, like great, another Invictus, woo just what we needed. Night Vision Eau de Parfum has its own personality and identity instead of just being a riff on something else. Last but not least, Dolce & Gabbana, the One Eau de Parfum. Though I do want to give a shout out to the One Eau de Parfum. Intense, yes, the One Eau de Parfum and the One Eau de Parfum Intense. And even though these are both the One Eau de Parfums and this one is just intense and this one is regular. They don't actually smell alike. Yeah, I know. Kind of confusing. If you don't know anything about flankers and all that, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But we'll stick mainly with the one Eau de Parfum here. I just wanted to shout out the one Eau de Parfum Intense because that's also very good at pulling compliments. Now, the one Eau de Parfum, it is the quintessential designer date fragrance for me. It's perfectly suited for a night out. Warm and spicy with a, a great sexy aura to it not too loud performance is a little bit subdued but it is easily one of my most complimented fragrances it's one of the few fragrances where even people that i don't know have leaned in and asked me 
what are you wearing? Because as I've said a million times, typically your compliments that you do receive are gonna come from people that you know. So when you start getting compliments from people that you don't know, especially in settings that are not conducive to fragrance compliments, yeah, you got something then. You're really cooking with gas. So the One Eau de Parfum, that's gonna wrap this one up. Guys, I'm gonna be honest here, I'm going to bed, all right? But I wanna thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.